Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Zir Solstice, and welcome to one of my first Titanfall gameplays. I will be doing these after the fact, as you can clearly tell, of the Titanfall beta, because I just wanted to stock up on some games, get the full feel of the gameplay, and now I have these to use for the intermittent time between the beta ending and the game coming out because there's about two weeks left, so I'll probably post the other two or three games that I have a bit sporadically. But anyway, this will just be my impressions of the game. You know, that that thing that just about everyone on the planet is doing right around now. But more or less, I just want to say why this game is easily going to be the blockbuster of the year for first-person shooters, if not the major release for the entire year. I mean, it's hard for me to say that, simply because there are a lot of really good games coming out this year. However, if nothing else in the genre, this game release is going to be huge. And here are my reasons. The first is because it combines an extremely powerful game engine, which is already known for being very fluid and effective, that being the Source engine, and it takes a whole bunch of different mechanics and specialties and whatnot and adds to it. So you have basically like the flow and feel of a super speed, twitchy Call of Duty style game, but it's all running on the super fluid, extremely accurate Source engine. And that's really good. Like the Source engine is what games like uh, Counter-Strike and whatnot are made on, and everyone knows that Counter-Strike has pretty much like the most ridiculous hit detection and all that good stuff that makes it a fantastic game. On the other hand, you also have, uh, not, you don't just have this really smart foundation for building a game like this, but then they've also gone and taken elements of games that make sense and they've just completely spiced it up a bit. So, when I say that, I mean they take your average kill streak and they give everyone the same kill streak on the same timer. And the only difference is that good players can get that timer down faster and hence have a Titan more often. And for players that aren't as good, players that are more casual, however you want to look at it. For them, it's a simple change of um, just needing to wait a little bit. And I think that's really nice. It's really good that they give everyone the chance to have this super weapon. And in that same respect, it's really good that they made the Titan itself very powerful, but not completely game-changing. So... I mean, it, a disgustingly good Titan player or two really good Titan players on the same team probably have the best potential uh, the best potential for just outright winning the game but that generally goes for any game that has a super mechanic of some sort so I mean that's not that groundbreaking or anything but just the way they decided to make these Titans into a very reasonable understandable power source that everyone has access to but it's still something formidable that you need to watch out for I really think that's cool and on top of that map design really tends to favor the ability of having the balance between playing as an infantry or being in your Titan because the way the maps are designed there's a lot of in buildings on top of buildings and through underneath buildings so it tends to make it really nice and easy for infantry players to just move in and out and all around the place and just generally juke out and evade the titans where they need to and that's a really cool concept because if you have something as powerful as this you need to have a way of just dealing with it when you're not on the same level as it and that doesn't mean you have to kill it that just means you have to be able to not die to it in most instances and uh, a good example of a game that did that horribly is Modern Warfare 2 
Modern Warfare 2 had the equivalent of a chopper gunner, and there was no escaping the chopper gunner for the most part. And if there was escaping the chopper gunner, you were stuck in like a two foot wide room that anyone could just walk past and shoot you very easily. At which point, there really wasn't much getting out of the way. It was like 95% of the map, or 90% of the map, was chopper gunner killable. And the other 10% was easy enough for enemy teammates to, or enemy players to already be in and kill you. So, I mean, it didn't really have that safety balance of being able to deal with the ridiculous streaks and whatnot. Right, we so I mean that's just on one thing on that topic. But that's my very basic look at the initial game. So like the game itself and the major point of the game being the Titans. So I'll probably go over the guns and probably the burn cards in the next video. So with that said, this is the epilogue. I'ma just sit here and try to kill all the people that take off because I'm a rude son of a bitch. And the scoreboard will eventually pop up. But I'll just tell you it's I went seven and zero player kills this match. And it's nothing that special, it was just kind of like take a look at Angel City. <laughs> So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. My name is Gear Solstice, and I kind of just botched my own ending. So, anyway, we blow it up. As always, have a wonderful day.